In this video, I'll be talking about my experience with the Peak Design 3 liter sling, why it didn't quite work as my main camera bag, and which bag is replacing it. The sling is well designed. It has features that nobody else offers and is comfortable to wear. There's a reason it's so popular, but as a camera bag, it just wasn't the best option. I'm not a professional, so all I need is a simple and light bag for casual use while traveling or hiking. On the sling, I didn't end up using the capture clip, the straps, or the fancy foldable divider. And I didn't find the inner mesh pockets or waist carry mode very useful. But the main reason for selling the sling is ease of use, especially when compared to the competition. The ProMaster Impulse Shoulder Bag which, at $45, is almost half the price of the sling. These bags are similar in size on the outside, the Peak being longer with the strap anchors, and the ProMaster being wider. However, they have different designs and I actually prefer the ProMaster. The sling's narrow opening and odd shape make it cumbersome to access my camera quickly on the go. The flap doesn't stay open, which causes the zipper to drag across my hand and camera every time I take it out or I have to hold it open and fidget with the camera. The top pocket was a bit small, but still usable, and the side pockets were hard to access, especially when the bag was full. The sling just wasn't easy to use for run and gun style. The ProMaster opts for a traditional rectangular design. The flap opens fully, making access and packing very easy. Unlike similar bags, the flap opens away from your body, making it easier to use while it's on your hip. The top and side mesh pockets are larger and easier to use than the sling. The bag stands up easily and has a bit more internal storage, despite being roughly the same outer dimensions as the sling. For example, I had enough room to put the second divider sideways to get a more snug fit on my camera, and there's still plenty of space on the side for a lens or two. The ProMaster's front pocket worked better for me as well. The diagonal zipper is a nice touch as it orients the pocket horizontal when swinging the bag to the front. The sling strap was more comfortable out of the box and has a quick adjust feature, but it can't be removed. On the ProMaster, I swapped in my own strap and the comfort problem was solved. Lastly, speaking about style, there's really no comparison. The sling's premium design and waxed canvas gives it a stylish look that I really enjoyed. The ProMaster isn't as nice to look at, I mean, look at these ugly zippers, but it's functional as hell. And that's the point. I don't hate the Peak Design sling, it just didn't fit my use. In fact, it was too premium. I didn't take advantage of the features it had to offer. For me, the ProMaster is cheaper and a more effective camera bag. Not a more effective waist bag, not a tripod holder or a stylish accessory, but a better camera bag. And that's what I needed. There isn't a single video on YouTube about the ProMaster Impulse. And my goal with this one is to help people spend their hard-earned money on the perfect product for them. No matter what you hear about a product, you should challenge its ability to meet your personal needs. That's what I did here, and I found a great camera bag. If you want to see more about the 3-liter sling, I made a review comparing it to the 5-liter V1. Click at the end of the video. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.